see that book because you're on the internet. This is the most must see and subscribe. Oh, um, slam the beat. I don't know if I'm the most subscribed I got in here on YouTube. Please, you know, you can just help me out. But if you do like my content, please subscribe to this channel. Um, man, I should just uh, go back to this original online ambassador of Black Marsh. What do you think? Uh, please comment down below. <sighs> We're up to. So, like I said, I'm Bruno Dragonius. From what my understanding is, that apparently I don't know if this sort of online war continues and that between the furry and the gamers, you know, even though that it's on, on TikTok, which is the furry gamer war, man, I'm just thinking it's really stupid and all that kind of stuff. But it did happen and there's this one type of thing that in order to be in this war, you have to be either a furry or a gamer. Can't be both, which I guess that is very, very pointless. I'm not quite sure if it's a joke onto it or whatever. And even though that this is just pretty much getting out of hand, where where there are some gamers that just writing some, you know, things going down there saying it's open season for furries or let's hunt down furries or gaming is a superior race or furries should be <laughs> executed and all that kind of stuff. I know the sort of main comments that from, you know, from other gamers, not just the haters. And it pretty much provoked this sort of furry versus gamer war on YouTube. I mean, and perhaps on TikTok, whether the two sort of communities have been sort of separated. You know, you can't be, you can either be a furry or gamer, not anything in between. But not to mention that it is very pointless because there are some gamers that are out there that are furries, like myself. And there are some furries that are also gamers, which is the other way around. And and that is the reason why I think it's very pointless to begin with, because the fact being is that even though that both both gamers and furries are in their own sort of way nerd, you know, we belong in a bit of a nerd, a nerd culture and all that kind of stuff. And I know that it just goes on and off, on and off, on and off, and all that kind of stuff. To people of my sort of type and that, I know that if you're a furry, you would agree with me, which is kind of a bit stupid. Like, really. This is what the topic of uh, going up POV is all about. Furry gamers, or gaming furries, whatever is suitable in there or whatever, even though that they're just basically the same thing. You see, from what I believe, and this is the reason why I think that this furry versus gamer war is kind of stupid, is that there are such things of as furry gamers, either that we don't want anything to do with this war, or can't really pick a side. But with me, I'm just both. There are some furries out there that became such because of a certain series of video games, such as like Star Fox, for, for instance, Sonic the Hedgehog, like Spyro, Mario, like Pokemon. You know, there's some, there's some furries in Pokemon, like i.e. Lucario. And, you know, the other type of things that, that makes us want to be, you know, those type of characters. Just mind you that furries are, are fans of anthropomorphic characters, same as we call anthropomorphic characters furries. And even though that, like I said in my recent video, that I'm a scaly, furry is just an umbrella term for that, even though that I don't have any fur on me. Um, you know, just a bit of a more walking to, or crest. And that's just about it. From what I think is that furries can be gamers, gamers can be furries, okay? And I don't know why the two can't get along. Same as that, yes, there are some toxic people out there in the gamer community, but however, the furry community is no different whatsoever. Just mind you that the gaming community is more mainstream, but 
back in the 1970s or probably early 80s, the gamer community is a bit more like the furry community, as in a bit more underground or not well known. Same with furries, for instance, like, you know, when during in the 80s. I know that in the 70s, there's some really old school computer games like Pong, like some Atari games like Pac-Man and all that kind of stuff, which is probably in the early 80s or something like that, you know, or Capcom games or whatever. And as for us furries, we used to be sci-fi geeks or comic book geeks back in the 80s. And that what makes us popular like today, today's standards, like the modern furries. Just mind you that if gamers can't be furries and furries can't be gamers, then ask me this. How come that there are games out there where you play as a furry character, like Sonic the Hedgehog, like Elder Scrolls Online, where at the moment you can play as Khajiit or Gonian, but, you know, all the Star Fox out there. There's furries out there that became such because of these games. Some furries also even had the persona started off as Sonic the Hedgehog LC. For example, one of my friends who, um, MJ Hedgehog, who whose main persona is a, is a hedgehog and she is such because of Sonic. Also, there are some other, there's a whole plethora of furry video game characters that I, I know that are out there and or games that you can play as anthropomorphic animals. So if you can't be a furry and a game at the same time, then Ask me this, how come that there's games out there where you can play that where you don't end up playing as, as a human? Just ask me this, why isn't there a game, why are there games where you don't play as a human, but as an answer for more of a character? Because let's face it, not all games you play as human being. Not to mention that as a fairy myself, I just find playing as a human being a bit boring, to be honest. And there are some kids games out there that have furry mascots. You know, like whether Sega has a ma have Sonic as a mascot. When PlayStation first came out, they have a mascot in the form of Spawn a Dragon and Crash Bandicoot. So that's what the early kids games where you, you play as a furry answer for more big animal character. And sure, Spyro walks on four legs, but he can still talk like, you know, human language. And so he does have some human qualities as well in it. Same with some other characters as well. So can you see what I really, really am getting at? We shouldn't be fighting. And I don't really get with this hate between furries and gamers and all that kind of stuff. And not to mention, mind you, that well-known gamer under the name of Sonic Fox, who, as you know, I have done two videos of that, one of them of about him, which is actually winning Game of the Year in a later video of putting in, in, a, in a roster of a hypothetical fighting game. And... To be honest with you, he is a furry as well. He is a furry. And he, beaten, he had beaten non-furries with a first it on. And that is a very huge achievement for what people in a furry furry fandom do. Sure, we do look weird. Sure, there's some of us that like to dress up as animals. Or as our own animal characters. You might see that as being weird. And... Some of you might think that furries are cringy, even though that in return, I've seen a lot of cringy crap from gamers as well, like from Halo, from Fortnite. I've seen some pretty cringy sort of crap in there from gamers as well, chucking tantrums because they were losing or whatever. And I do get that, that furries are really hated by gamers because of the way we do. But 
or because of the things that make make us happy. And yet again, I don't really get this hate towards us, even though that what we do is a hobby. It's something that we're most passionate about, like you gamers out there. Okay, that is your thing. So the point is that you can be a furry than a gamer, or you can be a gamer than a furry. It can be possible. And you can all be furry games as well, like me. Because I am one, because of the fact being is that I'm an Argonian and I'm something that is created, that originally he created, I mean, as, as a species for a video game. But the thing about it is that you can be both furries and gamers at the same time. You, you can be a furry gamer. Furries can be gamers, gamers can become furries. Full stop. No ifs or buts about it. So the reason why I'm making this video is that I'm just urging to all gamers not just to leave furries alone and be welcoming and welcoming furries into the gamer community and be open about us. The reason why I really like the furry fandom more than the gaming fandom is there is less toxicity. There's less toxic, toxic people in there. And furries are the most welcoming. But yet again, that furries have some toxic members, some really bad apples in the community as well. So, like I said, we are both nerds. Okay, and we are both passionate for what we like to do anyway. You know, there is no reason to bully furries in the gaming community just because that we're different. Just because that we find us simply as being weird. That's all I'm just saying. And Please, I just really want you to stop bullying furries and and be welcoming to it and that. Because this this furry game of war is just absolutely stupid as. And not to mention it just affects me as both a furry and a gamer as well. It is stupid. It is pointless. It is ridiculous. And I don't care if it's a meme. I just want this very game of war to end for good. None of these hunting furries and all that kind of stuff from gamers. You know, just leave us be. Just leave us alone. And welcome us. And not gatekeep furries from not bully, not bullying us, you know, do not bully furries, you know, whether that they're like furry gaming streamers and all that kind of stuff, you know, don't tell furry gamers to kill themselves because if you do that and if they were to say commit suicide, then that's potentially blood on your hands. That's all I'm saying. And that is the reason why I'm, I decided to make this video to bring awareness of furry gamers that is in this. And why did they have so much right to be in the gaming scene as every other member of uh, that's all I'm just saying. So anyway, I'm just going to end it from there. So please comment down below. What are your thoughts on the furry gamers? Um, do you like what I was just saying? Do do I do you agree with me in that? I'm more curious as to if you know if to say I'm I'm curious um, to know. Whether you're a furry yourself, whether you're a gamer, or if you're a bit of both like myself, 
what is what is your feedback on this video if you, if you like it please comment down below or better yet give this video a thumbs up if you do like it if you do like my content so far make sure that you consider subscribing to this channel as well and if you really want to be the first one to know when is my next video has come out or when is my future video come out make sure that you press the bell icon and in your mobile devices make sure you turn the, your notifications on my usual social media is, is in the description below and if you do consider buying yourself a t-shirt from my store and donate to this channel or help me out supporting this channel by even donating the links to both my artwork t-store and me copy up is down in the description below um at the moment or at least in the recording of this video i'm in western skyrim um because i have uh Graymoor and i'm currently playing Graymoor at the moment as this video is recorded but i'm not quite sure if i would end up finishing it but most likely i will be at western skyrim or underground in black Witch. so as always thank you so much for watching this video um at least better yet to all my new subscribers thank you heaps for for subscribing to this channel um you're all amazing i love each and every one of you i'm glad that you that if you do like my videos i'm glad that you do like it i'm glad that to whoever subscribed to my channel really actually do, actually does i love each and every one of you hell even if you're watching these views are more better i love I am heaps glad that you even watched my video to the end. I love you all. You all are amazing. Uh, happy Pride Month. And I might just, might just do a video on that. Well, maybe in the future. And also, uh, please stay safe out there. You know, Black Lives Matter. And please just, uh, I hope this, this thing, you know, ends and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, please keep fighting for what you believe in I guess and as always this is the most musty and subscribe to going on YouTube Bruce Dragonius saying I love you you're all awesome in the bottom of my heart you're all amazing and I'm really appreciative uh, for you supporting me you know in whatever way that you can and uh, yeah so I'm just going to end it by saying that this is Bruce Dragonius saying May his God you all. Bye for now.